built a few Gauge 1 live steam locomotives so far. This is the next one I'm going to build and it's going to be scratch built and it's going to be live steam and I hope you find the series of following videos interesting to watch. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of the Great Western GWR Prairie Tank Scratch Build. Please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and it just does help to bring the numbers up and keep the supporters for the channel. And I hope you like the video that you're going to see next. Uh, you may remember the last episode we um, got the this part of the boiler finished and silver soldered up and I've added this bush for the steam takeoff that's now been silver soldered in. So the next thing I'll be doing is taking this tube and we've got to make this as a taper to fit inside here. So what we're looking for is we're going to finish up with something that will look exaggerated, it will look like that. So it's flat there but it's tapered on the top and that will then fit into our, our firebox as I've mentioned before. So the process is I need to cut basically a V out of here. In order to squeeze this end in and probably squeeze this end in into the other this end in that will fit in the um, smoke box. But I've got to determine how much to cut out. So to help me do that, I've got a copper ring that is essentially it's an offcut of this, so it's exactly the same diameter. So I'm going to gently cut little steps out of here till I find what the right circumference of this has to be. I can transfer that down and I know how wide that V has to be that end and I'll do the same at the other end for the smoke box. Oh by the way if you're liking the series of these videos please don't forget to hit the like box and click that subscribe button. It all helps the channel and it's very much appreciated. Right so here we are and what I've done taken this taken this ring and I've made these cutouts. It turns out that I need to take about it was three eighths out of here. So that when I squeeze this down this then gives me the diameter correct diameter to fit the boiler in. See I've got the boiler that's where the boiler will fit in there like so. So that gives me one end and what I need to do now is do the same exercise uh, for the smoke box. Now I know how much the smoke box end of the boiler is going to squeeze down by. That's given me a working diameter now for the inside of this taper for the tapered end of the boiler. So I can start to mark out the front tube plate based on the dimension the diameter that we've now got. So as you can see there I've just drilled some initial holes to get me started and marked out the diameter of that. And what I'll do now is cut this out and we'll pop this in the lathe and we'll get this diameter turned to the right size. You can see what I've done here is hacked out the piece of copper and this is a method of you, you've seen me uh, use this method before where I just sealed, where I just um, put some solder on here and the piece I want to turn I just sweat it on 
onto this plate and this makes it possible to hold it so I can then turn it to a diameter. Okay, I think I'll leave it there for now and it's got plenty of meat on it and that gives me enough uh, to skim this down a little bit more and I can actually use this, I can usually use this as a holder, as a handle when I'm trying this in the end of the boiler so I'll leave that soldered on there for the time being. Here's a couple of pics how I created the taper. I can see the V shape that's being cut out that I marked up. Just gently cut that out and then finally squeeze it together with clips just to get the shape we want to fit in the boiler and a final try out. We're moving on to the next stage now and just a quick recap. Here's like the wedge that I took out of the parallel part of the boiler that you saw some of the photographs of, some of the pictures of. And what I've done since, I've closed closed up the boiler now just using clips as you saw on the pictures just using clips to bring it together and we do have a taper on here now and what I've done since then is we've already joined it together and you see there's the seam there I've added um oh, you can see that a fillet Another copper strip runs down on this side and riveted to hold this together. And what I will be doing is silver soldering this. This is a two stage silver solder. I'll be silver soldering on the inside, on the inside of this, and then I will silver solder on the outside. And the other thing I've done is done a little bit of work on the front boiler plate. This is some work on the front boiler tube plate. You saw me earlier on solder this on. So this now neatly using this is almost like a plug guide as a plug guide. This now just fits in. It's a nice fit into there. Uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this off this solder base and drilling the holes for the boiler tubes. But the, the next thing to do is solder this up, silver solder this up both sides. So here we are set up in our welding hearth and see I've just added plenty of flux along these seams and I've also put a complete length of silver solder along there and a little brick at the end just to so the heat doesn't go straight out the tube so the heat stays around a little bit longer but that's the basic setup so with my mask on now breathing mask on we can light up our torch looking this looks fairly promising I can see that the silver solder has flowed up through where the rivets are so they're very very confident that the silver solder has flowed all the way around underneath that fillet so we can pop that in the pickling acid now well here's the latest development on the boiler and you can see now I've added, completed the barrel, finished this barrel and sol silver soldered up this other side and I've now fitted the barrel, the main part of the boiler barrel, into 
this larger part of the firebox. Also, I've now fitted in the front tube plate. So that's all in position with a couple of little tabs on there to hold it in there. And as you can see also I've added these tubes. Uh, these tubes. This is the this will be the main steam pipe that will go to the cylinders and this is the steam pipe for the blower. So these are going to be welded into solver soldered into position as well. Also what I've made is the boiler back head and that's all completed now that's with the two bushes silver soldered in for the clack valve and for the pressure gauge. Also drill the other two holes for those two pipes that you saw that come out the back but the back head fits on there and that's the last part I will silver solder in. But the next exercise is to silver solder in this um, and I'll silver solder in this part of the main boiler into the firebox and I shall also be silver soldering up this front tube plate and silver soldering in all these tubes into position. Okay there we are with the first part of the setup for the silver soldering and you can see I've added the silver solder there ready for the flux. I shall put some flux down on here and moving down I've done the same round this band here just laid this round. I'm hoping this will stay on as it heats up. If, if it falls off I'll grab, grab a stick and I'll just have to do it manually but I'm hoping they don't fall off. I've done this in the past and they have stayed on uh, but we shall see. So there's the setup now ready to apply the flux and then we will apply the heat. Here's the boiler now and you can see I've done a little bit more on it since. I've uh, silver soldered the back head onto it now which flush against here, flux against here with some angle brackets holding that in position so that's all silver soldered in and that's quite a fiddly one actually because you've got to make sure this is really all level and there's no extreme gaps because you've got a silver solder right inside here it's got to flow all the way around inside there and on the outside as well so we've done that silver soldered that up and silver soldered these two tubes in as well so I hope you've liked this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button as it's very much appreciated and we'll see you again next time.